Well, we're on to the wheat now. It's about 8 o'clock. And uh, I got my canola unloaded and uh, ready to unload wheat now. I got all the trucks ready. So, the only problem I have now is I can't get my rotor speed up any higher. It'd be a bad solenoid or something. I'd like to get it up to at least 13. Oh well, I'll we'll look into that tomorrow. Coming not too bad though. Oh, there's a mouse. Hope I ran over him. I don't know why Dad doesn't turn his lights on. He can't see as it is. Anyway. So the wind's died down. Uh, the wheat is testing 16. Well, we just about made it to the highway. I think Trevor's running that combine now. John's over there. Coming a little bit less, it wasn't yielding as much here. Uh, strange, I don't know why, but it's not, it didn't drown as much here. But the yield is not as good. I noticed the heads are kind of small, shrunken. So there's Sean. get to the highway we're going to shut her down. We'll have this whole half done. Well next day here we're unloading the freight liner into the 10,000 bushel bin there. 10,000, 12,000 we're not sure. We haven't had them right full to the top yet so but it's for sure 10,000. Anyway uh, we're going to continue on the weed. It was testing a little tougher last night, so we stopped. It was uh, back to 16.4, and I got to move the trailer. Well, I had a phone call, so Sean dumped the truck, and we come back to the field. We're parked. Got the other truck parked there. Guys. Well, we're not going to get that much more. So, well, which is good if we do, but not gonna happen plus I've got the top kick over there too for a spare so dad's combining already I kind of want the John Deere to be going more because better straw from it that TR is probably that TR 96 probably got the worst straw because a little bit of straw still gets in the straw chopper and uh, chops it a little bit and the 99 is fully integrated that it just goes straight down so so I like that better better straw from the John Deere for sure anyway we'll see you in a bit I think he's gonna make it. He didn't make it. 
That one, the full bin alarm doesn't work on it. Nice straw compared to the compared to the roadie oops, compared to the rotary combine. This is rotary straw. Let's see where dad stopped here. And then conventional straw. This is why I like bailing behind this combine. That's really the whole reason we have that combine. Really nice straw behind it. Bail 24 rolls of straw this morning with the 568. I set this thing for two, 2.1 or 2.2 wraps of net wrap, but still not quite. That's how uh, kind of inconsistent. 560 will put what it says. But anyway, yeah, I, w I probably would have bailed a little bit more, but I think I gotta change fuel filters on there. She's losing power, so that has to be done yet. But Sean will get the other bail rolling, and we'll have this done in no time. Tomorrow morning, probably. Well, back in the 99, gonna fire her up. Easy peasy. Turn the heat off now. I had heat going last night because it was cold. AC back on. That's usually how it is with uh, harvest time. AC in the daytime, heater at night. As soon as the sun goes down. I really want to get this off. I gotta get a scraper on the outside, get that tape off. That's when I hauled the combine and I put cardboard so windows wouldn't break. Really starting to bug me. Well, I broke the shear pin on the unload auger. So, I didn't have, there wasn't one on the combine, so I had to run to the shop to get one. Uh, I've got a couple, hopefully they're long enough. This one's a grade 8, so... I'll put this one in. I 
that spot. And just like that, the wheat is done. 130 acres there. And it yielded not great. But what can you do? So now I gotta go, there's the other TR that's not running right now. Needs a motor. Uh, I gotta get those trucks because they're all full. So. But now we're off to canola, so we got to switch combines over. So, that's about all for today. I'll leave you there with that. Uh, next video is we're going to switch the combines over from dropping straw to chopping. So, we'll see you all in the next one. Make sure you leave your comments down below. Click like for the video. And uh, we'll talk to you all later.